way the doctor just said that her son is like a cow? <laughs> Your son is like a cow. <laughs> this video is also for educational and entertainment purposes and all content used within is protected by fair use. Hello internet and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, otherwise known as Pugapilla across all my social platforms. And today I'm... <laughs> We're going to be watching what I may consider the shittest movie of all time, literally and unliterally. If that's a word, I don't know. If you're new to my channel by any means, hi, hello, how are you? Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy my type of content. And please do leave a like if you haven't already as well, because after watching this, I think I deserve it. What we're going to be watching today is actually a movie from 2002 titled Thunderpants. I'll let you guess what this one's about. <laughs> this movie stars Rupert Grint and Bruce Cook. Uh, Rupert Grint you'd be familiar with in the Harry Potter series. He plays Ron Weasley. Bruce Cook, you would have no idea who this guy is. He, uh, <laughs> he retired shortly after this movie came out because it was so bad. <laughs> In fact, this movie performed so badly in the UK that it wasn't released until five years later on DVD. <laughs> However, in saying all of that, this movie has a very special place in my ass. Uh, this is going to be the worst movie that you ever watch. I'm almost willing to say that this is the shittest movie I've ever seen. This movie has been buried and probably for a very good reason. Nobody should ever have to see this movie. And then here I am making a video about today. So, if you'll join me, pull up a chair, grab a drink, and hold those cheeks close, because you're gonna want to. <laughs> Let's get into Thunderpants. All right, we're having childbirth. What the fuck is that? It's a flyer! <laughs> what? Damn, Conan O'Brien knows how to catch. It's a boy, Mr. Smash. It's a f ugly thing. <laughs> and for about 30 seconds, my mum and dad were the happiest people in the world. That's pretty common with babies, though, yeah? Your turn, darling. <laughs> Come on, man! As if that would happen! Do you know how much gas that baby would have to produce out its ass in such a forceful nature for a grown adult to be, <laughs> to be pushed back in, into the wall? Dude... <laughs> We're three minutes into this. Three minutes in. <sighs> Dad found my problem really hard. But for a while, he coped really well. Did he? Did he really? <laughs> That's not sustainable. Hang on, why are the scissors out anyway if you have a child running around? I fucking can't do this. I put watching this movie off for two weeks. This shit stinks. <laughs> You're telling me that... <laughs> You're telling me that that child put enough gas inside that garbage bag that when it popped, it shook the house like a... Fucking seven magnitude earthquake. <laughs> I can't do this. He really thought he'd solved it. I'd play my playpen for hours, or he'd read the paper.
How's he not aware that his child has escaped the cot? <laughs> what the fuck? That went to hospital for ages. <laughs> you put dad into a coma. When he got home, he had to work nearly all the time. In the end, dad decided to go to work forever. <laughs> you lit <laughs> your <laughs> your asshole literally caused your parents divorce. <laughs> Even my mum went a bit quiet. <laughs> your dad left you and you turned your mum to alcoholism. Because <laughs> you couldn't stop farting. Give me a kiss. Morning, children. Oh, God. Imagine having that as a child. It literally just farts all the time. <laughs> it wasn't a good start. All the kids pointed and shouted. Fart boy, fart boy, fart boy. That was a day I met Alan. He liked me for who I was. And he didn't care about my problem. <laughs> no, hang on. <laughs> I can't do this, bro. They were sitting down when he farted. Except it blew out the curtain on the side. Does he have arseholes in his ears? What the fuck was that? This is killing me, man. <laughs> Alan was my best friend. Alan was my only friend. Oh, I wonder why he was your only friend. Your porky fart box? What's this crap? It's special food. To help me with my problem. No, it's not. It's crap. Two teachers standing up on the staircase. <laughs> why the fuck aren't they helping this guy out? They're just... Hello, Patrick. How progresses the day? Hello, Patrick. How progresses the day? Okay, so this is Rupert Grint of Harry Potter fame, obviously. He played Ron Weasley. Fun fact, the marketing for this movie on the DVD literally says, Rupert Grint from the Harry Potter series, as, as like its big marketing thing. <laughs> I feel like Rupert Grint would <laughs> would absolutely hate that he worked on this. What am I, Patrick? A ginger. What am I, Patrick? Uh, Alan? This kid literally just said, What are you? And then he replied with, Alan? <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. All stand. Right, you lot. Absolute silence. Absolute silence? Oh no, what's gonna happen here? For a few moments of inner contemplation. He's about shit on the floor. <laughs> that poor girl standing behind him! The poor girl, the poor little girl copped all of it! Do you know what I've just realised? Patrick Smash would have like a universal ban to any like Anzac Day memorial services, any 9-11 memorial services. He would not be allowed to any of them because could you imagine Patrick Smash is there? <laughs> you know, you know exactly what's going to happen. Shadow of a doubt. The foulest little creature to walk the earth. Now get out! I actually agree with her. He's a gross little thing, isn't he? At moments like this, I'll think about my dream. I dream that one day I'll become a spaceman. For a series of complex, highly technical experiments in zero gravity. I forgot that was a plot point. <laughs> he wants to be a spaceman. Dear Space Center, today I watch the space launch on TV. I want to be a spaceman, but I have a problem. I cannot control my ass. <laughs> Dear White House, my name is Patrick Smash and I wish to be the President of the United States of America, but I have one big problem. I can't control my ass. <laughs> no, Alan. It's my ass. I want you to make something that will stop me farting. 
It's called a wine bottle cork, mate. Just fucking shove it up there. <laughs> yes, Patrick. I will construct a machine. You will be in total control of your sphincter. These guys are like eight years old, okay? Sniper rifle! Oh, it's a camera. They're gonna snipe his ass! I refuse to believe that Alan A. Allen is allowed to use power tools in the shed without supervision. Thunderpants. Thunderpants. Question. Do you think that with Patrick's inconvenient thing that he has going on, two stomachs and uncontrollable gas, would he qualify for disability? I think yes, because it, it, it would actually be a debilitating thing that he has. He can't walk 10 seconds without farting and shitting himself, most likely. I hate to give him some fucking chocolate milk. <laughs> Patrick Smash has got that Kim K hourglass going on. <laughs> You're telling me this kid is able to <laughs> able to transfer all the fart gas into a lunchbox <laughs> when at the start of the movie it wouldn't even be contained in a garbage bag. <laughs> Total containment. What am I? Someone I want to punch in the f head. I'm a genius. Yo, sis, get check out what I got in my lunchbox. Alan had done it. He had found a way to make me just the same as everybody else. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> That doesn't make you any better than anyone else. That's fucking disgusting, man. Not a whisper, not a breath. That fart would still make a sound. It wouldn't just be completely silent. Hello, Patrick. How progresses the day? It's great, Alan. You know what? That's how I think I might start my videos from now on. Hello, Internet. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, otherwise known as Pugapillar. And how progresses the day? <laughs> Alan, now you've helped me with my problem, can you help me find my unique gift? Alan, you helped me not make loud farts in public anymore and contain them. Can you help me find a girlfriend? What are you doing in my corner on the playground, Smash? That's your corner. Nah, I decided I didn't like that corner. I've chosen this corner instead, haven't I? That's not even a corner. <laughs> That's not even a corner! It better be jam, Smash. <laughs> Why is he not throwing up or like retching or he's just like I mean I've been through worse things, you know. What'd you do? You fart in my face. You could almost say that Patrick's uh, lunch that day was just ass. <laughs> I warned you, fart boy. I gave you every chance. Dude, this kid has just tied up another kid to the <laughs> Kids are mean. They're, they're horrible little things, right? They're really mean to people. But I would also be chanting that, to be honest. <laughs> I want to be a spaceman. Patrick, you idiot. It's called an astronaut, not a spaceman. If I was a spaceman, I could fly up in space and everybody would know it was me. Patrick Smash. Spaceman. That's what they're saying. Hmm. I think Patrick's favourite planet would probably be Uranus. Why the fuck are Agent Smith and that spying on kids? That's weird as. Good lord. Boy's got two stomachs. Incredible. Like a cow. <laughs> The doctor just said that her son is like a cow. <laughs> Your son is like a cow. <laughs> also, why are they only just finding out now that he has two stomachs? Wouldn't that be something they would have found out like instantly as soon as he was born or something? 
you know, when the problem originated, they would have been like, oh, there's something clearly very wrong with this boy. And then they would have done tests and found... What? They what? <laughs> Fuck, bro. The doctor himself called me a unique individual. That a medical phenomenon. That doesn't mean you're going to space. <laughs> Just because you can shit yourself doesn't mean you're going to space, okay? Oh yeah, so, side note, this musician, what the fuck do you call them? Orchestra person? He can't hit the high notes. So... That's, that's not possible! That's, that's not a thing! The very thing I've been trying to control and contain is the very thing that will make us sail to the heavens. Here we are again. What are you looking at? Is there is there good acting skills up there? <laughs> oh shit! A better movie. Does Patrick have any other shirts other than the striped one, or is it like his underpants where there's no point in really changing them because ten seconds later he's gonna fart in them? <laughs> Can't do it. I need them. I need them. I need them. I need. Should have slapped him a lot harder. When you're ready, take it away, Vincent. Now, is that beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, okay, this is gonna fly, is it? <laughs> right. What was that guy's thought process in making that? <laughs> what the fuck is? Oh, oh. He's he's oh. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? These are all grown adults, by the way. All grown adults. Clowns, Bob, it might be good for a laugh. Quick as you can, boys. What? What do you mean it might be good for a laugh? Did you? <laughs> did you not see any of the previous contestants? Wow. I think so, Alan. Shall I fart now? Charge up, Patrick. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> Do you know if Patrick pushes any harder, he's gonna fucking shit his brain out his asshole. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. How are you still going? He's not it. He's still. <laughs> he's still going. They did it. They won the race. But, what did it cost? Uh, for one, that fart went for longer than one minute and was able to lift that entire bit of machinery. Uh, I'm assuming 20 meters at least. Secondly, how sore would Patrick's asshole be after farting for that long without stopping to lift something that heavy, which also includes two human-sized boys on there. Am I overanalyzing this? I might have to make a really, really terrible actual analysis on this movie. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Enough power to break through the Earth's atmosphere and soar into space. What sort of sponsors do you think Patrick Smash would get? But first, I have some unfinished business to take care of. Oh, you forgot to pinch off the poo from earlier. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. Wait, was there? Hang on, was there a sound effect when he blinked? There was. Why is there a sound effect when he blinks? <coughs> what's that? Oh. <coughs> what do you mean? What's that? <laughs> he opened his lunchbox full of gas earlier. <laughs> Why is he stalking him like that?
Hey, fuck you, yeah, fuck off. That was fuck. the best day of my life. <laughs> fuck off, bro. He really just created a sonic wave with his asshole, didn't he? <laughs> I'm sure the Environmental Protection Agency or, you know, wildlife carers or something would be very curious as to why wildlife within a five kilometer radius suddenly died. <laughs> You know? I don't know what that was. Some government tech? I don't know. Turns out it's just some eight-year-old's asshole. Uh-oh. Ronald Weasley's been a weasel. I'm so sorry, Patrick. You better smash him. <laughs> I just saw Alan going away. Is he going to be long? Because we need to do my dream. Alan has moved to pastures new. Oh, he left a missive. You gave permission for your son, who is a child, to move to a different state or country? Good luck with your dream. Sincerely, Alan A. Allen. What a shit friend. Uh, unintentional pun. Let me make this perfectly clear to you, Patrick Smash. Alan has gone to another country. You won't be back. You, you will. You sent your child to another country. What? It was the worst day of my life, ever. Boys and girls at the space center are doing everything they can. We're in trouble. We need a miracle. Oh, you said a miracle. I thought we need America. It's like, what the fuck are you in? Young man, I will not take no for an answer. I'm prepared to take you on a triumphant world tour. With All right, then. I'll go to other countries. That's not normal. I'll just get my things. <laughs> a stranger rocks up to your door and goes, let's go to another country, do a world tour, and this... Where's your... Where's your mum? Where's your passport? Did you... Did you tell your mum that you're leaving with this fucking Sir Oswald guy? No! You just got to... Tonight after night, I did the hybrid with my ass. No one's suspicious of the smell going around the theatre at the moment? Oh, that was a great high note, but... I think I smell a little bit of garlic bread. <laughs> Mr. John... I'm so hungry. Mr. John, I'm out of gas. <laughs> Senor Osgood, he say no visitors. No visitors, he will see me. What do you do? Well, I carry Mr. John's bags. Pardon? Well, I carry Mr. John's bags. Oh, and I sing the high bit with my ass, Mr. Seagull. That's a secret between me and Mr. John. I don't think Patrick knows what a secret means. Dumbass. Sure are singing the I beat with your ass. That's literally everyone watching this video. <laughs> everyone watching this video right now is like, huh. Might just work. I can't remember what that is, but um, put that man down for poisoning a child <laughs> and also spiking food. Which I'm pretty sure is illegal somewhere. Does no one? <laughs> Come on, someone would have picked up by now that this world number one keeps looking directly somewhere else before he does the high note. clean the stage after that one. <laughs> Frank! He is a <laughs> You're telling me no one, even from that angle on the side, was able to see this boy bent over. <laughs> Fuck. This is the fucking worst movie I've ever seen. Okay, 
in a complex opera conspiracy led by criminal mastermind Patrick Smash. <laughs> They're arresting him. I didn't mean to kill Mr. C. Doe, and I didn't know it was wrong to sing the high bit with my ass. That's not what you say, Patrick. You say no comment. <laughs> I want to put my gift and your genius together like you said, Alan. Varta of the Opera must pay. Win a fabulous new fridge and cooker. He murdered the best friend I ever had. He attacked me for no reason with that weapon of his. You could say it's a weapon of ass destruction. <laughs> And this would be around the time that your best friend, your only friend... <laughs> you can't be making fun of an eight-year-old in court. <laughs> your only friend. <laughs> Look at this fucking idiot. He's only got one friend. <laughs> he left the country too. <laughs> A boy. Guilty of fraud, grievous bodily harm. Murder. Wouldn't the opera singer be charged with fraud as well? <laughs> that was his whole thing. And abduction of a child, at least. Guilty. 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 Now I would never get to do my dream. Stop my walking! Stop my walking! It was the worst day of my life. <laughs> I forgot this was in the movie. This eight-year-old who can't control his ass is sentenced to death. Execution by a firing squad. I don't, I don't, look, I'll be honest, I don't know if I can watch this anymore. <laughs> Milo, can you stop staring at the flames, please? Get ready. Take aim. Your British Home Secretary has authorized the transfer of prisoner Patrick Smash into the custody of the United States government. That you accompany us to a place where your unique gifts are very much needed at this present moment in time. All right, then. <laughs> All right, then. I was about to get shot anyway, so anywhere's better than here. <laughs> that warden's like, All right, bring out the next eight-year-old. <laughs> Now, it says on the paperwork here, this eight-year-old said the word f to her mum. Yeah, up against the wall, please, blindfold as well. That was a little fella. He's crying. He probably misses his mum. Do you know how long it's probably been since he saw her? <laughs> I don't, has the mum put out like a missing persons thing at all? No? What happened next was destined to change my life forever. You know you have two stomachs. Yeah. Well, the clever people here think that you might be able to help the astronauts. Am I going to be a spaceman? Fuck. <laughs> no. Thank the sweet love and Jesus that you're here, son. The good Lord has looked down from on high at those astronauts and has shed a single tear. Single tear has fallen to the earth and nursed a tiny seed. A seed has turned into a sprout. That sprout has born a bud. That bud has brought forth a fruit. You're that fruit, son. Praise God. No. I refuse. I... Let me get this straight. They have no engineers. No one who's smart enough to fix this issue at all. No backup crew to send. Nothing like that. So, do you know how many resources NASA has at hand? You know, I... You probably wouldn't be able to count. I guess, though, if NASA ever runs out of resources, they've just got to look for... fucking Patrick Smash. Patrick fucking smash a lot of farts out his asshole. <laughs> so, <laughs> so where, have they just abducted all these other kids? This isn't, this isn't, this isn't legit. This is like black market NASA. This is black market NASA. They've just stolen all these kids. It's like, we hope you all want to be spacemen. 
Why don't they ask the grown-ups to help? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know grown-ups are so silly? That's why we work here. You know, we're six years old and we run NASA. The United States Space Center are on a constant search throughout the world to seek out children with gifts. That's why they came and found me. So how much is Alan A. Allen getting, like, on a salary per year? Because I'd imagine he'd be making absolute bank. He wouldn't have to go to Hogwarts with all the money that he... <laughs> he wouldn't need to go to Hogwarts with all the money he's making. He could afford someone so much better than Hermione Granger. <laughs> we call it the thermal diaper. Thunderpam 3. I have managed to harness the... This is ridiculous. You're, <laughs> you're telling me that Patrick Smash is going to launch a rocket into <laughs> into space? They're turning Patrick into a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> You could say I have thunder pants. <laughs> no! No! That's not a thing! That's not that's not possible! Now before I was so foodly interrupted, we <laughs> God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you, Mr. President. Is that meant to be... Is that meant to be George Bush? <laughs> Wouldn't there be, like, public outrage over sending a boy to space? <laughs> he hasn't even got a crew. They're just sending him up by himself. It seems that 20 seconds into the launch, it's possible that uh, we might lose communication and an explosion, sir. Total destruction of the rocket. Ah, oh, damn. There is a chance, Patrick. A big chance that will blow up shortly after liftoff. Then cancel. <laughs> cancel the operation, right? <laughs> That's what NASA would do. There's a problem with the rocket. They would stop the launch. And this is my dream. I'm going to try my best to be a good spaceman. Do you know that the first question that NASA would probably ask you is... What is the term used for someone who goes to space? And if your answer is spaceman, you failed the test. <laughs> I did try to do my best at home, but I wasn't what my mum expected me to be. Oh shit! There's my son that's been missing for eight months. <laughs> He's become a space boy. <laughs> We're Patrick and Alan, the team. <laughs> 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 Patrick, no! <laughs> Come on! Is he still farting? I'm so sorry, Alan, but your friend just, um, he blew up. And that's my story. I'm just a nobody, really. I've always been a nobody. I'm not that clever. You may think that you have problems now, but are they really problems? Take them, use them. One day, your dream will come true. <laughs> okay, I'll just take my depression and severe anxiety. I'll fucking get launched to space. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Thunderpants. You know, I don't see what the fuss is about. All he did was fart. Right? Did <laughs> everyone agree? <laughs> What's all the fuss about? <laughs> the 
That is the worst movie I've... <laughs> I hate that movie. It doesn't even make sense. Who greenlit this? Why was this a thing? Who was sitting with a boardroom and was like, yeah, we need to send a boy to space through farting. I guess we could send a boy to space using his farts. That probably isn't the wildest ideas. <laughs> what the fuck? I might even consider making an in-detail review about how horrible that movie is. No! No, it doesn't make sense! I can't wrap my head around it! And that's going to be my reaction to Thunderpants. <laughs> Hi, hello, yes, thank you for noticing that I'm wearing a different shirt. I hope I look decent in it. I didn't include a rating when I originally recorded this, so I'm going to give it a rating now, and then moving forward we'll have ratings for everything. But I'm going to give Thunderpants... <laughs> I'm going to give Thunderpants half a star out of five. Half a star out of five, man. I'm not even describing how this movie made me feel. It sort of does it itself. <laughs> Thunderpants. <laughs> half a star out of five. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a big like or a little like, depending on your thumb size. Share this video with a friend or two, please, because I've had to, I had to deal with this. So, come on, send it to someone else. <laughs> Follow all my socials down below because if you don't do any of that, I might just, I might just, I might just go and fart on your face. Thank you so much for watching if you did and spending a little bit of your time with me today. What a shit movie. <laughs> I'll see you all the next time that you see me and then I'll see you and that's when we will see each other. That's so